should say, yeah, I'm mostly gay, guys. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's cold out here. Yo. Wait, 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 wait. Let's do this over. Come on in. Come on in so they can see y'all. Look who I got with me in the building today, y'all. Or in the car. You know, car. whatever. Hey. So, who, who, who is this with me? Do y'all know? Her big sister. I got my big sister with me That's today, right. y'all. Yeah. So, I'm filming for a reason, actually. I wanted to talk to y'all about something today. And, um, actually, no, no, I wanted to talk to you. To me? Yeah, about something today. I'm glad that we have this, this moment, you know? We don't always get to be by ourselves because my sister is having another one. She got lots of kids, y'all. <laughs> that, that, that goes to show you. So, <laughs> but I wanted to talk to you about, we've actually already talked about this. Um, you and I, we've already talked about this, but I wanted to talk about it again on camera. First of all, how long have you known me? Since you've been in my mama's stomach. Oh, she's the oldest, guys. <laughs> Our mother's stomach, because you know, be some funny business going on. Some of y'all ain't really related out there. You know what I'm saying? So, gotta say. But, <laughs> um, I thought we was gonna get to go for a walk or whatever, but our day, I never know how our day is gonna go. Um, like I said, she got a lot of kids and they kind of, you know, sway the day. She's got a lot of responsibilities, guys. It ain't that many. <laughs> All right, so let's just get right to it. I wanted to let them see both of us. Okay. Uh, the reason that I want to talk about this is because I have to remember why I'm making this channel in the first place. This journey is about my life, but my life is so much more than that. So I would be doing my channel a disservice if I didn't, um, wait, where are we going? We're going to John Eagle or we're we going to, to Mark's? What store are we going to? We need bagels and we need How much bananas. money do we want to spend? <laughs> all right, there we go. All right, there, there we go. I'm, I'm gonna go on what's this turn right here. <laughs> yeah, Lux <Alexis> is better. <laughs> all right, so I would be doing my channel a disservice if I didn't talk about the totality of my life. It's one aspect I have not yet talked about on my channel that is a very big aspect of my life. Do you, do you think you might know what I'm talking about? I don't know. Oh, she's okay, sure, she doesn't know. <laughs> all right, so let's talk about it. I am in the LGBTQ community and I have to talk about it. So we're gonna talk about this today. Um, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and queer. Let's just poll my audience, this one right here. Um, <laughs> which 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 letter in there do you think I am? I don't know if she knows this, y'all, so. I'm gonna go with the B. She's going with the B. But okay. I don't really know. But she doesn't really know. Cause, Cause things have changed over the years, so I don't really know. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about it. Um, I'm, su I'm a little bit surprised that she said the B, but not exactly surprised because, for one, I think my sister hates bisexual people more than she hates gay people. I don't hate anyone. <laughs> Let's just put that out there. All right, so I have not always been a part of this community, so you my family. So there's a lot of people who are struggling and going through stuff that their families don't know or haven't accepted them. My family with me has come such a long way with this. And let me say this, I'm a, a trailblazer and in a chain breaker in a lot of ways in my family. I'm the first person to go natural hair out of all of my cousins, my my, my family, everybody, all of my friends. And I was laughed at. <clears throat> I was, what? <laughs> you guys see this? Yes, I laughed. This woman laughed at me for 10 minutes. Not a minute short. <laughs> not a minute short. On Skype, we were Skyping. She could not stop laughing at me. So, anyways, Listen, you should have seen what her hair looked like. It wasn't. A, it, it wasn't. A, it, it wasn't. A, it, it didn't look like that. It didn't. You know what I'm saying? It it's, was real, it's a, real it's, rash. It's, I had the journey too, and I ain't never looked like what listen, she had going on. Listen, I'm from the people who go before you, but it's, it's, <laughs> it was a journey. Then it's okay. All right, they get to see the, you know the polished looking good yeah. stuff. Yeah. My point is, I, there's been a lot of firsts in my family. I've gone through um, being the guinea pig in the first pretty much all of my life for everything. Oh, we want to try this? Try it on Brandy. Try it on her. <laughs> yes, give this to her. I'm saying all that to, to say, like, you know, I haven't always been a part of the LGBTQ community. And I think my sister was probably the first person that I told in my family. I told my sister because, would you say we're pretty close? Okay, so I told my sister because I just needed somebody to talk to and I knew I could talk to her about, you know, 
pretty, pretty much, much anything. Exactly. But there came a point. I brought a girl home. I don't think I don't think you were here. But I brought a girl home, and we were messing around, and my family were had become suspicious. So I, I sh my cousin said something to me. We were at my cousin's house, and my cousin was like, "Brandy, you gay? I didn't know you was gay." And then my mom would turn around and looked at me, and she's like, "What are they talking about?" My mom started sweating. I could I feel like I could hear her heartbeat. It was it was it was a mess. That day was a mess. But my grandma said something first. My grandma said something to me to let me know my family was on me. She, I was like, Grandma, what you talking about? My aunt's had something to say. My cousin really has something to turn into like a blowout fight, y'all. Like, no, like a blowout fight. Like we didn't. Um, me and my mom, we just never talked about it after that. Six months, a year later, she told me she didn't want to talk about that with me. Fast forward, it's been you know some years since that's happened. I was in another relationship, and that girl just kind of like broke my heart, you know. So um, it was some issues going on with that, and then I enlisted my sister here. I said, listen. I need to have a conversation with mom about the stuff that's going on in my life. And I was like, you need to talk to her. <laughs> Some, the middle man. Sometimes, always. <laughs> sometimes you got to phone a friend. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's phone a friend. And at this point, I was like, look, man, you get to talk to mom about all your relationship. But I don't get to talk to her about nothing because, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, in the LGBTQ community. I was like, you talk to her. You fix this for me, and then I'll talk to her. She said, what? Okay, fine. I've been doing that to her all our lives. You gotta talk to mom about this because I don't know what to say. We're adults, I still didn't know what to say. I'm saying if you're stuck in a situation, phone a friend, call your sister, your brother, say hey. That that was that. So I'd never answered the question where I'm at in the LGBTQ. No, you didn't. So I'm gonna answer that question for y'all now. It's been a process and a journey for me to figure that out. Probably in the most hated category, more hated group of the gay people. So just put me in the hate check hate box. <laughs> the bisexual box guys nobody likes us they want us to what did you say to me the other day what did you say to me the other day you said what repeat it come on what pick one yeah she or either let your partner know your partner should know we agreed on that but she said first y'all she said pick a side pick a goddamn side is what she said so but that's nothing new you know what i'm saying a lot of people feel that way even gay people feel that way about you know bisexual people in the community so after me comes um I have a transgender cousin. Some of my little cousins have had girlfriends and nieces, nephews. It's been, it's like, it doesn't surprise anyone in the family now because I feel like I took a lot of those punches. Like, what's it been like for you? What do you feel? How do you feel about everything? I feel like whatever you do with your personal life is your business. I still love you the same. I still love whoever the same. It doesn't affect my personal life. It's not anything that, that I might particularly agree with. But again, it's not my life, so do you. She's one of the very few um, <clears throat> straight, real straight people <laughs> in, in, in life. <laughs> it's not a lot of straight people in this world as we continue to find out that she's one of the very few. Were you mad at me when, um, I mean, it's been years, y'all, and this is the first time that I'm really ever having this conversation aloud about it. She and I have had these conversations, but these conversations haven't, you know, widely spread. Were you mad at me when, when I first told you about the girl that I was dating? No. Do you remember me being mad at you? No, you weren't mad at me. I just Not wanted at all. to hear I didn't like her. She didn't like her, but she liked the next girl. I did. I liked the next girl, but I didn't like her. I didn't like how she treated you. The next girl did me worse, though. She, she definitely did me worse than the first girl, so. But, you know, I didn't, did I like her, uh, her first boyfriend who she married and then had a whole family with? No, I tried to break her out of that mess, you know, before it all started, you know, because I could did. see what? the nonsense, you know. I think when people really love you, they just want, you know, they the want, for you. yeah, they want somebody of want, what it is. Exactly. There was two guys that I liked for her and she, I don't know, she was a stick in the mud. She didn't want either one of those guys. So it was just like, okay. But I love my nephews that came out of the situation, and I think that's can we get better angle. I'm looking chubby over here. My bad. You know, I'm I'm not a camera person. This is just not what I do. But you know, I'm doing this for you, for you guys. <laughs> yes, for you guys. Yeah, I definitely felt like this was a conversation that needs to be had because there are people that are having difficulty still about finding themselves. Um, I've been a very spiritual person throughout my life. Um, spirituality is still very, very important to me. Walking in my truth, most freeing and rewarding. I'm um, having my personal beliefs. I've been so low in my life that 
eventually I had to find where I stand. You know what I'm saying? Can you attest to that? Yeah, definitely so. Come a long way. Yeah. And my family is want to see me happy because, you know, we've we've seen me not happy and be a very, very mess. You know what I'm saying? My mom is to the point where she's like, she doesn't care who I marry. When I started out on this journey of realizing I like the same sex, gay marriage was not legal, y'all. It was not legal. So for me, at that point, I couldn't see a future with um, a person with the same sex because I always felt in some way that I wanted to get married. It was just a lot weighing on me in a lot of different ways. If I feel free in a lot of different ways. We got to talk about this because we definitely got to talk about this. <laughs> um... She don't know what I'm finna say. Though. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> but it sounds juicy. We gotta talk about this. All right, so my sister has been, you know, been under the same roof for a couple days, right? And every time I get dressed, boy, she just be, she be checking me out. Like, she just don't, she can't wrap her head around what I'm gonna put on. Here's why I'm saying this, y'all. Y'all gotta see her face. <laughs> Here's why I'm saying this, right? So I have completely, completely switched up my style in the past i don't know six seven months or whatever right but i'm gonna show y'all some footage some pictures of what i used to look like i have completely switched up you know what what i look like like um definitely so so when I get dressed, she be like, she do, I don't know what she thinking. She just be having this this smile on her face. This it's a nice smile, y'all. But <laughs> she just <laughs> first of all, she be thinking I'm like my cool Mac Daddy brother. You know what I'm saying? She's reincarnated. But I don't know how you feel about my my new style of dress. That's your business. <laughs> That means she don't like it, y'all. That's what it means. It means she don't like it. It's very different. It's very different. It wasn't the... It, yeah. Yeah. Y'all yeah. comment. It's it's totally you, different. Y'all think I was a baddie? Does anybody know was I a baddie? But you know you was a baddie. I didn't want to be a baddie. But you were. And that just means that you were a beautiful, feminine woman. How you carried yourself. You're still beautiful. You're still a beautiful woman in a different sense. Okay, facts, fair enough. And I'm going to say this too. I wasn't pretending in those phases of my life. I've just been no, genuinely... No, she wasn't because she was so confident she was touching the sky. <laughs> I used to be like, girl, sit down, please. <laughs> <laughs> I've been through so many different phases of my life and I feel like that's why I needed to have this conversation with my sister because we've been so close to our life. She have really seen these phases in stages, I'm not even gonna call them phases, these different stages and places that I've been in my life. And, you know, I'm in a, such a very different, but you know what, have I always been tomboyish? Always. So it's not like, that's why it's it's different, but it's not like, oh my God. Well, the, the changes, the physical change is definitely different, but your style of clothes and stuff like that, you always dressed a little different. You always had your own little style. You ain't never been the girly girl. That ain't never been you. It's yeah. never been your thing. But I mean, everything, like, you know what I'm saying? From like the tattoos, the clothes, the hair, everything is she different. She told me she would never get a tattoo. When I first got my first tattoo, I would never get one of those. And it wasn't, the, it wasn't, the, it was, it was. And that whole true all of my life until the very end of last year like last year changed my life it just changed me completely in a different whole perspective it's been a good evolution and unfolded for i know the betterment of my life like nobody even knew i just left town i, I flew to la i flew to la and i came back you know tatted with more than one so <laughs> and you know what i'm saying we're not even gonna get into that but <laughs> So, like I said, a lot of changes. Um, I know a lot of people feel a way about my style of dress because it's, it's pretty masculine, but I don't dress masculine just to dress masculine. I feel like expressing um, where I'm at, how I feel. Well, I definitely have my feminine pieces in there too because at the end of the day, I know I'm still a woman. I also feel that leading masculine presence in my life. And I've always felt it like, okay, when I'm out with you, what do people typically assume about us that you're my girlfriend <laughs> like no we're sisters <laughs> we have the same mother and the same father we're full blood sisters 
<laughs> yo, so, okay, so I used to live in Atlanta, right, y'all? So we went to get our nails done because <laughs> <laughs> we went to get... I was like, okay, cool, whatever. So we in the nail salon. Back then, mind you, I had locks. You know what I'm saying? My locks were down my back. But we in the nail salon, right? We sit in there, get our nails done. They just keep smiling at us. You remember this? Yes. They just keep How could I ever forget? <laughs> <laughs> they just kept smiling at us. And then, you know what I'm saying? I just noticed that people treat me different. Like, oh, that's so nice that you would do that for her. And I was like, what you talking about? What? Do what for her? What are you saying? Like, oh, that's so nice. You come to do this with your girlfriend. Or we like, a girlfriend? Skirt. What? what? <laughs> no. <laughs> so we caught on to what they were thinking and doing, and we just like, you know, we let them have it for a minute. You know what I'm saying? We gave them a little bit of show. You know what I'm saying? Just a little bit of show. Like, hey, boo. Yes, girl. Hey, baby. <laughs> we can't even act right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So we gave them a little bit of a show. And then, you know, we, we, we had to just break the news. They were so heartbroken. That happened twice. Yes. And the twice. same that was it earlier that day than later that day. So like okay, my <laughs> sister came to visit me, right? I took her out on all these cool places, right? And then when I took her to a rooftop party, kicking at this rooftop party, right? And it was a group of people that came over kicking with us because you know we was looking good, whatever. I'm gonna see if I can find that picture. Um, these people <laughs> it was a couple, a sweet they had to be a swinging couple. They definitely had to be a swinging they thought why did they really was trying to pick us up. Why did they think they was finna take us home? They thought we was going home. They knew we was going home. It's like, oh, so you know how long y'all been together? I'm like, since birth. Right. <laughs> At least since I got here. <laughs> this is my sister, you know, because we felt the funny business like, we, we not going along with this. We told them that we were sisters. They did not believe us. Not even a little bit. The whole night went on, you know what I'm saying? They were cool people, so we were hanging out with them, whatever. They just swore they was taking us home. And the one girl, which she, she got the same mother and the same father. We're literally sisters. And she finally looked in our faces and was like, Y'all really are sisters, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's what we've been trying to tell you. We come to smoke the hookah and have a good time. <laughs> We're not trying to go home with y'all. Listen, who she go home with, I don't care. I'm not going. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Whoever I want to go home with, she doesn't want to go home with. <laughs> Not at all. Nah, we ain't them kind of sisters, y'all. Not at all. No, nah, not happy. <laughs> so, like, you know what I'm saying? We covered, you know, my dressing. My brother's not in this video, but I'm just finna throw him out there and put him all under the bus and we he be just. He hates it. He does. He hates it. Yeah. But he hated it. He hated it when I cut my hair off, right? Because I had beautiful, long, long beautiful hair. Wait, okay, hold on. Because this happened more than one time yeah. that I've just chopped it off, right? Yeah. So the first time I had straight hair, I cut it off and I rocked the afro for like a couple years. He hated my afro so much until, he didn't think he could hate anything more than he hated my afro. <laughs> until he saw me with dreadlocks. It burned a hole in his soul. And he didn't think he could hate anything more than my dreadlocks till I cut my hair off again. I'm saying, a lot of people don't like A lot of people don't like my changes. I don't care, I've come to this place of zen. Uh, where I'm ha gratefully happy about my changes. I know some people are stressed out about being gay. Let's let you, being straight, this woman is very straight. I've known her all of my life because not all straight women are straight. Let me tell you that. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> That's something I don't know nothing about. <laughs> you know, See, I got one of these and this came from my husband's. All right, so you just went to your first same-sex wedding. I did. My sister-in-law just got married. Shout yes. out to her and her wife. We have had this conversation like, you know, you know I could be next, right? You know? Yeah, I started the conversation. I told you, you would probably be the next one that I would go to. <laughs> so, I mean, it's very weird because you know, when you're a kid, you think you of your life a certain way and I didn't know or think I was gonna be this way when I was a kid so you know we had other plans and things like that for our life but as things have changed we've just adjusted it's very nice that my family is has changed along with me and be supportive of that and like Thanks. so we broke her in to love to love the community it's just amazing to see the growth that like she would she told me the other day that she would be at my wedding if I married a female and that she would be there supporting me and by my side and stuff like that. And it feels really good because for me, 
this place in my life where I want to love who I want to love. And if I find my love in a female, I'm cool with that. I, I wasn't always at that place, but I'm cool with that. And if I find my love in a male, then I'm cool with that. Now, let me say I am not 50% 50% bisexual. That is not, that is not, do you think, would you agree with that? I don't know. You have your moments, you know, you got a guy screensaver. So, I mean, we're editing that out. <laughs> my workout inspiration so leave it right on in there that's your workout inspiration you working out for him or working out to get cut up like that i'm ignoring her that's okay <laughs> <laughs> okay so we're getting ready to wrap this video up because we got stuff to do yeah because my babies is hungry and they want bagels and you want bananas i want bagels too we all both want bagels and bananas i want good bagels What's not those bagels fine we could have i don't want to spend a lot of money you want to spend a lot of money no that's why we're going in here to get those bagels yeah we're not spending a lot the other day and i had a panic she's spoiled y'all i'll be spoiling her she's spoiled because she loves me who what she okay loves me. okay yes i do i do all right so i think we covered it all i really just needed to talk about my sexuality that i'm happy about it like i'm like mostly gay guys <laughs> <laughs> i'm like mostly mostly gay <laughs> so <laughs> yeah all right so uh yeah are you gay if you're not it's cool you can stay if you're not and you can stay if you are i don't we don't care all right y'all um thanks for watching and yeah peace out later i met this girl she told me that i could lead the show i'm the leader in my band and the